Tomo News presents Russia. Russia plans to build a new nuclear-powered icebreaker. Russia has unveiled designs for a new nuclear-powered icebreaker that would keep the northern sea route open all year round. Russia's proposed nuclear-powered icebreaker, known as Leader, will exceed 200 meters in length and will be approximately 50 meters wide. It would be capable of plowing through two-meter-thick ice at a speed of 29 kilometers per hour. It would also be capable of cutting through ice up to four and a half meters thick. The new icebreaker would keep the northern sea route clear year-round. This would allow up to 300,000 ton tankers carrying liquefied natural gas to pass through the area during any season. Russia launched the world's biggest icebreaker, the Arctica, in June. The icebreaker is powered by two nuclear reactors and can break through four meter deep ice. All eyes on Moscow. The world will be watching Russia this summer when the country hosts the 2018 World Cup. The tournament will be played between June 14th and July 15th at 12 venues in 11 cities in Western Russia. Two of the venues are in Moscow. To attend matches, fans will need a FIFA Fan ID badge along with a ticket. According to FIFA, over 4.9 million tickets were requested for the tournament so far. The month-long tournament will see 32 countries from around the world play a total of 64 matches, with the winning nation being awarded 38 million U.S. dollars and the iconic World Cup trophy. Who do you think will win? Russian Rapunzel has been growing her hair for 13 years. This real-life Rapunzel's fairy tale length long locks have their roots in a teenage dare. When Daria Gubanov Freckle was 14, she cut her knee-length braid. Two years later, a friend told her her hair would never be that long again. Daria set out to prove her wrong, and did she ever. Thirteen years later, her hair is so long that people follow her on Instagram for it. More than 200,000 people from all around the world follow this woman from a region in Siberian Russia. Nicknamed the Russian Rapunzel, Daria hasn't cut her hair since 2003, and says she won't until it reaches her feet. It's not easy having hair this long. Daria uses up a 17-ounce shampoo bottle every two months and spends at least five minutes a day combing her luscious locks until they're silky smooth. But she's proud of how strangers react to her hair in public. Once, a woman with a cane chased her for three bus stops just so she could compliment Daria on her hair. Now the rest of the family is getting in on the trend. Her six-year-old daughter is growing out her hair just like her mom. Even Daria's husband has started to let his hair grow out, although the family won't say how long he wants his hair to be. You can find out more about Daria and how she maintains her hair by visiting her Instagram page. Russian rich spoiled brats show off on Instagram how awesome they are with their parents' money. If you manage for a moment to forget how hard, uneventful, or boring your life is, don't worry. Rich kids of Instagram are there to remind you. They have more money than you, and this is what they do. The slogan goes. Aren't you super thrilled to find out? Instagram even divides them according to their nationality, which seems to go together with their level of douchery. The Russian ones are apparently on pole position. Just look how many visas their parents gave them. Aren't they the coolest? And didn't you die after looking at this dude's watch and expensive shoes? This one got a car because she passed the test in high school. Well, this one was terrified of passing unnoticed. This one is upset. She didn't think she would eventually have to carry all those bags. It's okay, kid. We know you'll hire some slave to help you. These ones are rehearsing for their new hip-hop video. While these dudes... Do we even need to comment? And like Bruce Lee once said, don't think, feel. And that's surely a suggestion this Brad is following. But we don't want to be too harsh. Just because they look rich, spoiled, and arrogant, it doesn't mean they have to be douches too. Or maybe it does. Russia and Japan are talking about building a Trans-Pacific Rail Bridge. Ever wanted to hop on a train from London to Tokyo? You could be in luck. Rail passengers on the Trans-Siberian Express may soon be able to travel from London all across Europe and Russia and beyond to Japan under new plans from Moscow. The plan involves the construction of a bridge or tunnel between Russia and Sakhalin and from there a bridge to Japan's Hokkaido Island. The bridge between Japan and Russia would reportedly be 28 miles in length across the Pacific Ocean. The journey from Hokkaido to Tokyo takes around four hours via bullet train. And the entire journey from London to Tokyo would take upwards of a week, whereas a flight just takes over half a day. So, uh, how would you like to travel?
Signals intelligence experts believe a so-called ghost radio station operating out of Russia is broadcasting secret messages to spies. The station, nicknamed the Buzzer, has been emitting a short, monotonous buzz tone since the Cold War, with reports saying it started as early as 1973 to as late as 1982. No one has ever admitted to running the station, which has spawned a number of conspiracy theories, including that it's staffed by ghosts. The station broadcasts 24 hours a day on a frequency of 4,625 kilohertz. It emits 25 buzz tones per minute, which is sometimes interrupted by Russian voices that appear to be talking in code. Up till 2010, the station officially identified itself as UVB-76, but then switched to MDZHB, which stands for... Like all international radio stations, the buzzer broadcasts shortwave signals that can travel for thousands of miles and be received all over the world. Some have speculated that the station is programmed to retaliate if Russia is ever hit by a nuclear attack. But experts have ruled that theory out for technical reasons. Instead, they say the station is probably a tool to communicate in times of crisis, like say a war, with Russian spies overseas and military personnel stationed in remote areas. So let's just hope the buzzer keeps on buzzing, and the only voices we hear on its continuous low frequency are just testing the signal. Giant snowballs appear on Russian beach. Russians living in a village just above the Arctic Circle are reporting a strange natural phenomenon that stretches as far as the eye can see. Giant snowballs have formed on a beach in the Gulf of Ob in western Siberia. The snowballs are spread out for 18 kilometers along the coastline and come in a variety of sizes. The smallest are as large as a tennis ball, but they can grow to the size of a giant beach ball. The balls start off as fragments of ice in the near frozen sea. A combination of the wind and tide rolls them around near the shore until they wash up on the beach. Once on the beach, the balls freeze and are coated by more ice and snow. According to scientists, the balls are made up of concentric bands of sand and slush. The giant snowball phenomenon isn't unique to Russia. In recent years, similar ice balls have been seen at Lake Michigan and at a lake in Maine. Russia plans to build a permanent moon base by 2030. According to the Russian news agency TASS, the Kremlin plans to put a permanent base on the surface of the moon by 2030. Russia's eventual manned mission to the moon will involve the payload and the upper stage of the Angara A5V heavy lift carrier rocket. The rockets launched in pairs will all carry a piece of equipment essential to the moon mission. Each rocket can carry up to 700 tons. The first pair will carry a lunar lander and a lunar rocket stage to the moon. The second pair will carry another rocket stage along with an advanced crew transportation system. The third pair will carry another rocket stage along with a lunar base. Another component of the mission includes sending a lunar probe to the moon's surface. The probe will look for water deposits on the surface that can be used by a future human colony. Manned missions will begin orbiting the moon in 2028 and in 2030. Humans are expected to finally land on the moon and establish a permanent moon base there during that time. The first stage of the mission will cost around $185 million, with the two other stages costing even more. However, questions remain regarding how Russia will pay for the mission.